Hey everyone, it's me again. Uh, there's another cemetery I'm going to be checking out. It's in Oakland, Ontario. It is the Oakland Pioneer Cemetery. And here we are. Yeah, so... Oakland Pioneer Cemetery, One Coming Street. Yeah, so it is the burial grounds of the United Empire Loyalists. And this is right here, the Battle of Malcolm Mill, Malcolm's Mills, 1814. In 1814, an invading American force of about 700 men under Brigadier General Duncan MacArthur advanced rapidly up the Thames River Valley. He intended to devastate the Grand River settlements. Yeah, reached the Grand River for an unsuccessful attempt, crossing, attacked the body of some 150 militia here in Malcolm's Mills, Oakland. However, six Canadian forces comprising of elements of 1st and 2nd Norfolk, 1st Oxford, 1st Middlesex regiments put up a spirited resident resistance, but were overwhelmed. So. Yeah, so. It is. As you can see, another pioneer cemetery in the heart of Brant, Ontario. Or, so it's a nice little town. And as you can see, there's a military cenotaph right here, the Pioneers. Glen Township, these headstones are the only authentic record of burial in this cemetery. 1811 to 1941. So, Probably at least a good couple hundred people buried here. So, and they are crumbling, which is unfortunate. So, yeah, as you can see, a lot of these have seen some better days, especially these ones which have been fixed up and just held up a little bit. Sutherland, Srila Merritt died 1851, and a lot of people back then did not live very long. And yeah, veteran, War of 1812 veteran right over here. It with one of these stones right there. So there are some very notable people here. Another war veteran right there. And it's good that they're being recognized with these little placards. At least then you know how significant this area was. Yeah, so, as you can see, it is yeah, War of 1812 veteran. So at least it's good that they're being recognized. So I can only imagine what Remembrance Day would be like in this community with, right here. And I'm sure if the Victoria Cross was awarded back then, a lot of these men would have probably have earned it. And it's kind of weird because there's a residential neighborhood right behind this Pioneer Cemetery. Yeah, so. That one could use a little bit of a cleanup. But, yeah, a lot of people. It is a nice little pioneer cemetery. There's one more 
just down the road, but I just kind of wanted to check this one out. Yeah, so as you can see, and it's kind of a nice layout on how they got it set up. So it is a nice little cemetery. So, yeah, that's so if you it. like what you see, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe, uh, even subscribe. Uh, I do hope to put out more stuff like this. I just need time to sort of be on the open road to do so. Um, that being said, uh, my ride's just across the street. Got to hop in, but I think I need to get a drink in that variety store just to make it sure that I stay awake for this trip. Anyways, have a good one.